So today I want to talk about this Insta360 ONE X2 Premium Lens Guard. Man, that's a name. Anyways, I bought this thing around six months ago and I tested it. I haven't used it a lot until I tested it now again, because I was not convinced about this product. And I'm still not convinced about this product. But there are, there is one thing which is good about this product. And there are a lot of things really bad about this product, I think. Um, so if you won't buy this product anyways already because of this video, I would really appreciate just a thanks or like or whatever. Otherwise, if you want to see why I think this is a really bad product, I tested this thing with this thing during the day when it's sunny and the shadow in the forest where it's like sunny and shadowy and at night. And then I tested just things like the microphone with and without the lens guard. Can you charge it? Can you put this thing on when you have an external microphone on it? But first I want to talk about the price, which is 49 euros in Germany at Amazon and 49 euros on the Insta360 website but you need to pay 15 euros of shipping, which is ridiculous, like than 49 euros for a piece of plastic with a little bit of glass. So the cheapest way to get it is on Amazon because you don't pay any shipping, like this stick. It's the one meter 20 stick. This is really nice actually, it costs 16 euros. That's a product I do recommend compared to this one, which I really don't recommend. And I would probably compare this price of the premium lens guard with the Apple Mac Pro Wheel Kit, which is ridiculously, and this price is ridiculously, I think, it's 49 euros. Like, that's too much. Like, this thing cost me 350, including the stick. Not this stick, the other stick, which is 60 centimeters long, which is nice, but the 120 is way nicer. Anyways, back to the topic. I think this is way too expensive. Even it protects your lens when you have an accident. So if you are really in action in the forest, climbing, I don't know, doing whatever kind of sports, it is nicer to destroy a 50 euro piece than this thing. And something I just realized, this wonderful rice cooker, which cooks rice for me two to three times a week, cost me 38 bucks. It's an engineered machine. It's electric. It has a nice hinge. It's gold and shiny. It looks nice. And it even came with this two liter pot, a spoon, and this little measuring cup. And now I'm sitting here with this 50 euro premium, not that premium lens guard. But before I want to complain more about this premium lens guard and this bag it came with and the problems I have with the microphone and the cleaning and more. Let's jump into the video quality and how it performs and I want to start with the daylight. So at this first clip I just want you to look at the sun obviously. I think that's the most obvious and maybe a little bit at the colors just in general. I think there's a slightly color difference between using the camera with and without the lens guard. And here you can really see these light spots in the lens and this is obviously with the lens guard and the first clip was without the lens guard. So here you can see the difference again between with and without. Just look at the colors in general and then obviously these light spots. Clip number one again, now in the forest where you have shadow and sun again. Here I'm trying to show you the sun as well. And this clip, it's not too bad actually, like in clip one and clip two. And I will show you the sun in clip two in the end as well but i think you already can see and hear this is the most obvious this sound it's just 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 listen to this sound like it's not usable it's it's absolutely not usable the sound
and now take a look at the sun and I stop this picture for a second so you can see these spots again and this is in the forest and you should just try to maybe stop the picture for a second and decide for yourself what you think about it and here I try to just give you the best example of how it looks with and without and you can definitely see this little difference it's a little brighter like everything is just a little brighter with the lens guard and in this clip i try to be close to my face looks a little funny um, and obviously i'm showing you the sun again because this is the most obvious spot where you can see he's using a lens guard or he's not using a lens guard and kind of just yeah destroying the whole video i think and the sound the sound i just i don't know what to say to the sound and here you have a difference between the lens guard without the lens guard again and i try to mirror the picture here so you can see a little color difference but it's actually not too bad so this clip at night is the part I recorded the first and I just I just couldn't believe it like when you look at these lights with the lens card it's just I would say it's almost not usable at least not for me it depends what you want to do with the footage obviously And in this clip I will also not tell you which video is with and without the lens card you can just see yourself it's just it's just incredible like take a look at this picture like ah oh, and the sound again like i'm pretty sure you know what i want to tell you with this video where to use it and where not to use it and at night i would just i would just skip this lens guard And here's the last example again with these light spots. So this wasn't planned, but it's just a cloudy gray day and I just got the time to catch it. And now you can see the light difference with and without the lens guard and including the sound as well. This is without the lens guard right now and we are going really slow. And I guess the sound quality right now is pretty good. Like we are going eight kilometers an hour. So let's change it up to 20. This is, this is roughly 20 kilometers an hour. Um, I'm talking loud, but not too loud. And the sound might change by 20 kilometers an hour if this camera kind of sticks in my face or if the camera is 1.2 meters away, going 20. There's no purpose of talking going 30 without a mic, but let's go 30 on a grey day. This is going around 8 kilometers an hour with the lens guard, with this protector, and this is the sound. I guess it's pretty bad already because this guard is covering the microphone. So let's go 20 kilometers an hour. Thank you. 
external microphone without the lens guard. Why without the lens guard? Well, we will talk about this in a second. And it should not matter at all if my camera is over there or straight in my face. And I really hope you can hear me. Like, I haven't tested this setup out at all. Um, so I'm really curious to listen to this sound as well. I hope it's good. I hope it's great actually. I could use my little fluffy ball. Hello there, it's me from the future. I just checked down the sound quality of the Rode Wireless Go 1 with the muff guard or how I called it the fluffy ball. I didn't know the name of it. It's called a muff. No, it's not called a muff guard. It's called a wind muff. It's called a wind muff. And now going I'd say around 35 kilometers an hour or something. Maybe I can try to go up to 40. But I think the sound quality was really good. I was amazed. So this is just a side notice of with the muff guard. Yeah, this is definitely going 40. So just to inform you and we will jump back into the video. I could use my little fluffy ball. Um, Put on the microphone, but uh, I was afraid of losing it. Um, yeah, so that's riding with an external microphone with the Rode Wireless One in a cloudy day. And I feel like by now you got every kind of situation with lighting and sound. I really hope I could give you some good examples and expressions how this Insta360 ONE X2 Premium Lens Guard works and does not work or how it looks. And in the last step of the video I want to show you, actually, like, that's perfect. That's the perfect example. I want to show you how this thing works with the camera itself. So I'm pulling off this protected camera. I really like it to um, put it on a on and off. It slides pretty perfect. I put this thing. Um, I don't know how to call it. Maybe I find it out and it will be on my hand. My microphone has this thing as well, so that's how I connect the microphone receiver to the camera itself. But now let's take a close look at this lens guard. So this lens guard comes with this bag which is a little big and if you pull it it kind of opens opens up again I don't know what they thought maybe you can give it a knot like this it just it just doesn't you see like I'm pulling it and it opens automatically and it it's it, it's holding a little bit but I, I hope you know what I mean. This Insta360 comes with this case, which I really enjoy, because usually you can just whoop, put it in, put it out. Because of this part, um, it's a little harder, but that's my own fault, I would say. And it still works. I can put it on and pull it off again. 
that works quite well. And now with this guard, there are a few things. Like when I put this thing on, when I put this thing on, so that's how it looks. And you probably see the dirt already. We will get there in a second. I will not use this thing anymore. Like you will not use it anymore. It doesn't work. So you can use this somehow maybe i don't know but at least you have something to protect it and i feel like there is some dust inside i'm not 100 percent sure but maybe i got the dust inside whatever the next problem is let's take my apple pencil for this you have this outer glass and you have the inner plastic it's here and you can go underneath if you see this and to clean the dust inside I don't know how I really don't know how I cleaned the outside but this is all inside this dirt and this all obviously makes the picture how the picture looks like really bad with these spots and I'm pretty sure it is better if all the dust is gone but I can't go behind like in between I don't know with which kind of cleaning tool I'm supposed to go in here except water or you can try something like this I just created myself to somehow manage in but just the cleaning part oh great this this looks super clean now it looks even worse so you know what I mean and in this corner I I don't know how to get there like there's no chance of cleaning this thing Coming to this microphone, like you saw already, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go 1. And I can stick it here, that's perfect, no problem. But to use this microphone, you need a Type-C to AUX adapter, because Insta360 did not build any AUX in there. So if I want to put this thing in the camera, the case is in the way, doesn't work. So you don't have a chance to use an external microphone with this camera. You can use a different device like your phone or something to record the voice and then try to sync it. I don't want to do that. I think this would be a lot of hustle and work. So I prefer this adapter because then the sound synchronizes straight away. That's how the adapter works. and. You can see the case just this doesn't work and the very last thing if you use this cap which I don't use because I usually use the microphone over here so I need to stick in the adapter inside over here I just don't use this cap at all but if you use it you will not be able to charge the camera without taking this thing off it's not a big deal, but just a thing to mention, I would say. I don't use this cap, so if you don't use this cap, you can charge your camera. Not a big deal. And taking it off and on, to be honest, that works pretty well. And if you're still wondering if you should buy this lens guard or not, let's talk about the pros and the cons. So the biggest pro, obviously, you protect your lens, except when you cut off at 102 kilometers an hour on a unicycle I don't think this lens guard will protect the camera but I don't know what would protect the camera when you crash like a Looney Psycho <laughs> oh fuck Another pro, or like definitely not a con, is you can use the touchscreen and you can use the buttons. You can even charge it when you take out this little cap. I think that's definitely a pro. So to just pack all the cons together, I told you within this video, it's like the price 49 bucks. I think it's really expensive. I don't know if I would pay 49 bucks for a phone case and the phone is definitely more expensive. 
The problem with the dust. I think it's really annoying that you can't really go inside to clean the lens guard properly. It's a nightmare to clean it, so you will have bad resolution. You probably can do it when you wash it under water, but then you also need to dry it. It's like a big process, but you can't just keep it clean. At least I can't just keep it clean. Maybe you can. So that's something I would really keep in mind. The bag doesn't fit. This thing fits. I don't like to use it. Up to you. And the last thing is definitely the microphone, the sound quality, it's just really bad when in action, when riding, when going a little faster, doing your sports, whatever. If you are really slow, I was actually positively surprised if you are not moving or moving really slow. The problem is that the microphone is just behind this lens guard. So if I open this lens guard up again, you can see here's one microphone and the other one is here or the opening so it's completely covered with the lens guard which is kind of stupid but that's definitely the problem of the camera itself and not the lens guard but the combination just kills it or kills the sound i'm pretty sure they changed it with the x3 but i got the x2 i like it i'm happy with it i will not upgrade to the x3 right now but if I would be able to use my external microphone on the camera with the lens guard, then there would be some situations I would really think about using this lens guard. But because I can't use the sound, the picture is worse. I can't use this thing. It's just, I don't see me using this lens guard anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching and the next video will definitely be an electric unicycle video.